other good news that we have our guest uh, from Spain, from Cadiz, from uh, La Liga, who will tell uh, also uh, another approach, another viewpoint uh, for uh, of watching street football. Uh, what I wanted to tell to the others, yeah, we are talking here about the street football, but uh, here you can place in instead of street football, you can place any name of the urban sports, whether it's skateboarding, BMX, uh, uh, basketball, volleyball, I don't know, any urban sports. So, ladies and gentlemen, international strategic support for La Liga clubs, uh, which boosts La, uh, clubs, uh, um, from International Department of La Liga, Jose Carlos Loaiza. Make some noise. Uh, you, with, his, uh, with, with his team, uh, um, with his topic, Harnessing the Grassroots Spirit, how street sports can cooperate with the professional football leagues and sports leagues in general. Okay, Jose Carlos. First of all, thank you very much for having me here. I'm, I'm really happy to, to be in Riga again. I think we did the first, or well, participate first time three years ago online. Um, it's really happy, I'm really happy to be here and I will show you a little bit what we do, you know, as a league. I'm sure you know Spain, you know La Liga, but what it's really inside. And also how we cooperate with, uh, with street football and other, other projects. Really, really fast. What is La Liga and, and our ecosystem? We are a football association. Our bosses are the clubs. 20 clubs in the first division, 22 in the second. Um, from that is the federation. We are out of the federation. We have our own company system. Um, we are in charge of managing the competition, the calendar, the games, etc., and also the commercial side, selling the audiovisual rights, business, financial control, etc. And also, we are working a lot to create this football ecosystem. We are more than 90 minutes on the pitch. We are more than clubs. We are the club, the competition, all the ecosystem, and all the popular you know, uh, mentality around football. When you think about La Liga, Premier League, Bundesliga, you only think about these 90 minutes, clubs, but we are much more. I would like to show you a little bit. I'm going to be fast in this part because I know you want some coffee and many information, so... If you have any questions, just ask. But this is a little bit corporate, so I prefer to focus on the example. Okay. Short video. Sure you Do you want to live the ultimate football show? Join us. We are La Liga, a global leader in football entertainment, committed to offering the most innovative experience to millions of fans all over the planet. And we certainly do, don't you think? You're probably wondering how we've come so far. Well, Let's take a little journey in time. From the days of Di Stefano and Kubala, we've always had the best football, the biggest stars, and the certainty that their stories deserve to be told in the most impressive way, using the most modern and innovative tools. This has been an exciting journey for us. Thanks to our continuous focus on match production technology, we're changing football from a sporting event into a groundbreaking audio-visual experience enjoyed by millions around the world. This is La Liga, the ultimate football show. And the best is yet to come.
I, I wanted to say today that when you see a league or you see a, a federation, you see us like a huge corporation with no problems, uh, everything is fine, funding, etc. But at the end, we have a huge amount of challenge ahead. And all of this work has been the last 10 years. Before, we had the same problems that many of you, of course, a little bit different in the scale, but we had problems. We didn't sell the audiovisual rights together. Each club was selling everything, you know, uh, separate. We didn't have a collective project, a collective league where all belonged to the same place. And also, we didn't have an international department. So we wanted to, you know, we were focused on Spain, and, and that's all. And the wall is really big. So we started this, this journey uh, in 2017 with the creation of the international department. We have delegations, uh, 40, 44 offices, 11, and also 18 people now in, in Madrid international department. La Liga was 50 people in 2013. Now we are 700, more or less. So you can imagine the growth. And this is because we believe in football. We believe that we have to grow. We have to show to people what we do. We believe our football is the best. Um, all the fourth, for us, is this local strategy. We have a global product, this football, but also we want to, to approach people locally. Uh, I'm sure you like one content here. In Senegal, is going to be another. In the United States, so we try to work in each country in, in a different way. At the end, our KPIs are really easy. We want to grow. We want to have more followers, fans, and at the end, we want to provide opportunities to go to our clubs to compete internationally. We do many things around the world. Uh, last season, we did 1,700 activations around the world. This is, can be big events or small events with fans, watch parties, media, with ghetto games, uh, with you in some countries. So we are all the time thinking what to do, how to approach the audience, how to, to promote our brand. Uh, I was watching the, the presentation of uh, our friend from Austria. And you know, I was thinking, I don't see a t-shirt from Spain out of Real Madrid and Barcelona. And this is our challenge, to show to the world that there are more clubs working really well. So when you see, we have challenge too, to, to develop. And we see that the, our international presence can give us more visibility, more level of interest. At the end, our brand grows. I'm going to fast. And also, this is opportunity for, for our clubs. At the end, what we want is a bigger competition, bigger clubs, healthier. Um, it looks that the league is really professionalized, but we have to keep pushing. You know, There are jobs. There are many people working. So it's important to, to keep growing. I'm going to show you a little bit in these 10 years the, the numbers. At the end, we started to sell the audiovisual rights together. So the increase is in, incredible and gave the clubs a really, really good opportunity to grow as a company. The commercial revenue is really important for each company. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are small or big, you have to grow. And of course, be close to good partners. And the social media for us is really important. At the end, we are trying to get followers, but also to, to, that they are becoming fans, not only followers. But this is really important for us. Now you can watch La Liga everywhere. Uh, 10 years ago, it was impossible. Now you can go almost everywhere and have football. So you can, you can see, and you can see the games. Also, we have partners in all around the world, and this is really interesting. For example, we are working now with Air Sports. Uh, I think you all play FIFA, FC this year, all these video games. It's a massive company. For us, it's really important because, you know, we were working with the bank, serious people. Uh, they want to, to show that we are serious. Now we are working with a modern company for young people, really into video games, technology. You saw the broadcasting with the with information. It's, it's more than football, it's something, it's entertainment. So this is a really important step. And also to have partners around the world is really important because we, what we want is to activate, to be present, to be close to people, to watch football together, to play football together, to grow grassroots together. So for us, what we say to the brands, we collaborate with you, we are partners, but we want to do things. If you don't want to do things, we don't care. We go to another one. So that's really important for us to be active internationally. 
This is also for us a milestone to, to reach 200 million followers. At the end, uh, of course, there are numbers, but the content to, to speak different languages. We were speaking only English and Spanish. We are speaking now more than 20 languages using many, many platforms. So to, you know, to show what we want to show that we are, we are different. We are doing good things. And this is a small example of the many things we do uh, inside La Liga. Uh, you can imagine 700 people, what they are doing all the time. So we have technology, we are doing content, entertainment. We have a museum in Madrid. If you go, you can take a look of uh, historical t-shirts used in the World Cup, Euro Cup games. We have La Liga Academy, it's a grassroots program in Spain. We have more than 50 nationalities playing there to, to become football players. Uh, project with the EA, we have 29s that are sports bar, so imagine. And also we create concerts. We have a concert in, in Spain each summer. And well, a league is doing, you know, different things. So it's interesting. And in this part, I think it's uh, more interesting for you is what we do uh, to consolidate our presence, to, to achieve, you know, new audience. At the end, what we are looking for is strategic partners, strategic projects. One of the examples in, in Asia is uh, we saw there was many areas that they are not really in good fit. Uh, at the end, we are football. It doesn't matter if it's street, professional, we love football. And we say, OK, let's do a second chance. You know, let's give the pitch another life. So we create a project to, to rehabilitate this abandoned pitch, to create projects around it with local people to create the content and also to have the legacy in the country. We don't want to be in a country, say, hey, I'm here, watch my game, see you later. We are, we are here, we're close to you. We want to understand what you want, what you like, and also to cooperate with people, you know, to, to grow football uh, in the country. This first was in, uh, in Thailand. We did in Malaysia, Philippines. Uh, the idea is to keep growing in Asia, but also to, to do it globally. I think I have a video here. No, it's not working. So you see the, the results are really nice. You can have your brand there, but also you can activate with the local community. So for a brand, it's really important to be close to the fans and not only a commercial company that is there trying to get the, the profit. And this is another example. This is in Malaysia. And to finish, uh, I wanted to highlight this project, uh, La Liga with Ghetto Games. A few years ago, we started to talk and we started to to think, OK, how we can collaborate with other organizations, how we can help to grow football together and also do different things. We have a good thing inside the companies. We are not afraid to do things. Uh, we are all, all the time thinking, OK, what we can do, uh, where are not others doing something, and, and we go. And for us, this is opportunity to, to be close to you, to street football, to be, you know, that this distance between professional football and street football or amateur is not that far that we are the same ecosystem, that at the end, what we want is the same purpose, to go, to grow the community of football and also to be a part of something. So for us, it was a really, we started to do small things together, but when Anton and Raymond show us the EuroLeague project, we saw really clear the opportunity, you know, to have this tournament in many cities, uh, with many teams, many countries. We are really, really international company. Uh, we have many also nationalities inside. So it was really easy, the, the internal sale of, of this project. And I think the results were really good. For us, it's also a really important opportunity to create content, to see you know, that the people understand our brand a little bit. And for sure, the, we are collaborating right now. And the next steps are to keep growing, to keep doing more things, and to be close to, to the fans. And just to finish, um, 
but these are the best pictures. Also, we have there the old logo. We have a new one. I'm sure you, you saw it already. So you see the speed that La Liga is all the time changing and, and trying to, to improve. And for us, the, the important takeaways of, of today is there is a possibility to collaborate with federations, league, clubs. Uh, you show examples with Salzburg, uh, I'm sure with Hagen. But there is always opportunity to connect, to create value around sports. Building the community is really important. But we see that there are more people supporting humble clubs. They are not always, you know, supporting Manchester City, Real Madrid. They are going to, you know, the clubs that they need supporters. The content is really important. And we see that to create stories around sports, to tell things, be more human, you know, at the end. And you can see football players right now are talking about a lot about mental health to be, you know, to fight against hate. So this content around football, around life is really important and, and you have many stories to tell. And at the end, you can listen to this all the time, that the fan is in the center, that, uh, you know, you have to understand what they want. But this is, you know, it's a nice sentence, but to do it is hard. And this is one of our, our, our main KPI in our strategy is to be really close to the fan. What, what they want, what they like, uh, what they demand from us. You know, life is changing really fast, so you have to be really close to the market, and you are really close to, to the core fan of football, because at the end, in Spain, we play in the street all the time. Uh, I was speaking yesterday with Anton, so with Raymond, that when you see a good player, that they're doing different things in Spain, you know he was starting in the street. So you are in the core of football, so that's why you have a huge value to work with leagues, clubs, and don't overestimate the, the budget of leagues and club, but for sure, if you find to, the opportunity to create value with them, you can, you can grow together. And I try to be really fast. There is a huge amount of information about La Liga. Also, if you want to know anything else, I'm totally free here today. And thank you again for having me. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, gracias. Jose Carlos, thank you very much uh, for your insight uh, and uh, questions, please. Yeah, we will go with the questions. Well, yes, MVP. Yeah, give her mic. <laughs> Hi. How how do you think, or maybe you can uh, tell, how many games do you show in uh, La Liga, like? games that are played each year. Do you know the number? Uh, <laughs> I think we have 380, uh, maybe around. You know, we, we, we manage all the first and second division, um, plus the playoff. So I think it's around that, but I'm not really, really, really sure, but 380 around. Basically all games are broadcasted. Yes, yes, yes. It depends the country, of course, uh, in Spain for sure. Worldwide, all of them, if the broadcaster won the, the game, they can show it. Also, we are working with our own OTT, so you can watch the second division that maybe is not that popular. But I will say in the main market, you can watch everything. Uh, we have the stats, people watching second division, you know, the, the smallest or the humble club, so it's, it's really good. Thank you. Another questions? Yeah, so uh, I have one question. Um, let's uh, we saw the S Singapore and uh, Malaysia, uh, oh sorry, Thailand and uh, Malaysia courts. Uh, how things happening there? So, is there your partner? Uh, not sorry, not partner, but one of the uh, La Liga Global Strategy people. Uh, he's working there in that area. And he's thinking about the ideas, and so he passed by, he see the court, and he said, okay, uh, nice, I, I got the idea, we need to refurnish this court, and uh, this somehow will uh, will work for, out for me. It, it meets our strategy, let's say. Yeah, how that happens. Or somebody locally uh, approach you, but it's... Most likely not like this. It's multiple ways. At the end, we have the international team inside La Liga. So we have people in many countries. And this person is responsible to create the strategy for, for La Liga in the market because you are the specialist. So you create the strategy and, and you adapt to the market because, for example, this is possible in, in Asia, maybe in Europe, 
there is no need no or, or similar and from that we create the way to to develop it we have many differential projects so we say okay can we do it ourselves we need local partners we try all the time to work with local people of course global brands that they want to to do it and this is the first way also we got the way that you know people know we have delegates in in countries so they approach hey, i have this project how la liga can can work with me and we develop it so it's a double way to okay yeah why i'm asking this because uh, a lot of people who organize something for them the question how do i approach some partner even if uh like you can work with la liga and benefit only with working with la liga you know mm -hmm. to be uh, visible yeah, uh, right. the same with the, some professional clubs or somewhere right so the the question here is how to approach them so but in in this case you are those you are one of the not much leagues who are also searching for the cooperation not just uh, standing there and waiting that yeah. inquiries come right the key is to understand what the league or the club is uh, looking for i mean which add value you can give to them to the kpis maybe they want to grow digitally uh the local base they want to do a pre-game uh activities they want to grow in the market so it's really important to understand what they're looking for in the market i uh, give them a, a, a good proposal you know around your your ad value of course as you say uh, we are this way we we think all the time let's go we never say no we say okay let's take a look other leaks uh they are active i think there are leaks that are active clubs at the end depends a lot in in, in the person uh it's important this understand this network and the add value that you can give them okay uh and uh, another question you are work working a lot uh this is let's say your struggle uh that you want to get the that people recognize girona or uh, uh cadiz fc uh, clubs uh, <laughs> on the same level as real madrid uh, and barcelona uh but how do you see with with your strategy going for let's say 10 years like this yeah so you understood that yeah we want to put the value of other clubs okay everybody knows sevilla everybody knows also valencia because big cities and big clubs who won something in the past right but right now girona is uh, on top of, of the league and no let's say most of the people don't know what girona is and cannot even put on the map where where that uh small town is because it's actually small yeah. right so uh how do you, but anyway it's a long way to go of course but how do you see it, and it's up to club to build their value around them it's up to the club not up to the league but how do you see you doing this job from the league emphasizing clubs and how do you see uh results are they improving uh the, you you see that more jerseys of uh uh betis is are and the uh, athletic bilbao are selling or not sure uh at the end we try to help them understand the the strategy you no know? you have to identify your key markets which things you have differently what you can tell girona has a huge uh opportunity to sell something different at real madrid or barcelona there are clubs working really well with the with the grassroots other with the community other with the lifestyle uh merchandise so they're improving a lot. Of course, it's challenging to, to play against the big clubs that are playing in Europe. But you have many opportunities with the different channels now with TikTok. Uh, you can do PR with media. You can do watch parties everywhere with the minimum budget to, you know, step by step growing your brand. And we saw that before it was almost impossible to, to do a watch party for a club out of El Clasico, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And the other day we did in, in Colombia with Atletico Nacional and Betis, a watch party of 100 people. We did with the, with the local group in France for Girona watch party. We are doing content. So at the end, you have to, to understand where, where you are and scale up. Okay, I have zero fund. I have to go for 10, how will I do it? And they are improving, of course. And I think people are, are searching that. No, new, yeah. new clubs, something different. So, and you you see that you you meet your expectations uh, 
well, our expectations are, are really high. Too so high, okay. We keep pushing all the time, but yeah, we, we are happy. We're happy. All right, great. Uh, another questions? If not, then uh, once again, make some noise for Jose Carlos Thank Loaiza. You. I want to tell, uh, so what's happening next? Wh while we are giving you uh, some presents and we are waiting for our uh, joint photo,